Matt Sons here with more on the fallout from another Wildcats coach dismissed amid a scandal. Matt. Yeah, just three days after firing head football coach Pat Fitzgerald, Northwestern dismissed that another coach, this time head baseball coach Jim Foster, after just one season on the job. Marshall Harris spoke with two players who played under Foster this past season. He joins us now. Matt, these players, they wanted to remain anonymous since one is still on the team and the other might be back next season. They were both relieved to hear from President Michael Schill and AD Derek Gregg in a meeting last night, hours before last night's deadline to enter the transfer portal. They told me of stories of bullying, racism, and sexism under Jim Foster's one-year tenure, but it's how he reacted with his coaching staff in front of them that really struck them. It's just like a level of disrespect to other adults that has really permeated through the experience of multiple coaches. And I think when, if you have the opportunity to talk to the coaches who left or the volunteer, volunteer assistant who was there for the whole year, like you will hear a lot more in-depth stories of that. Where it's not even like in a, in a correction way. Like he's not trying to help. He's not trying to correct things. He's just like disrespecting people and speaking to them as like lessers. And that was like shocking to me. Like I, I just, I'd never seen that. Like it shouldn't have taken these allegations in the media for it to get out for him to be fired. Just on principle of, we went 10 and 40 and we had a talented roster. We lost 15 guys in the transfer portal and three, three staff members quit. Like what kind of, like that, there's absolutely something wrong. Obviously he was fired for cause. He was on a longer contract. Any cause that they could have fired him for was known to them four to five weeks ago like through these surveys, through these comments, through these interviews. And then like it takes them till the media starts publishing stories, accounts, reports, evidence into the public eye. Then it's like, okay, we need to make a change. So that was, uh, that was definitely a main concern of mine and definitely very frustrating for me. That player you just heard from still on the team. He says after that meeting, he is happy and hopeful. Both players say they like having former White Sox player Brian Anderson in charge now, knowing he may well end up being interim coach next season, Matt. Yeah, thanks, Marshall, for that.